guys, I'm super hyped to share with you this unboxing of the kit that I just posted on my Instagram. This is from Gundam Sentinel. This is the S Gundam booster unit. I'm going to show you the box here. You can check out my Instagram post too. And then check in tomorrow because I will have this finished and you can see the result of it. But it got a lot of people asking about the XS Gundam from Sentinel that came out a couple years ago as a P Bandai exclusive. I have the OG, the original one, it's still in its shrink wrap and I've been saving them for a rainy day because Sentinel kits are some of my favorite. But anyways, let's just do a really quick unboxing video, enough of the jabbering, check this out. Here is our booklet, it is an HG, just your regular run of the mill HG painting guide on the back and my personal favorite is the Sentinel art, just amazing. But yes, okay, so I have started this kit already. I am 50% of the way with the arms here. I did the base and that's it. And then I just wanted to go ahead and share this with you. This won't take me any more than maybe 45 minutes if even that. Now, the painting, sanding, and making it look better, that'll take a couple more, couple more days, couple more days. But I digress. So here is our beam savers. Not our beam saver. So here are our variable speed beam rifles that come with it. Our only runner that has colors, it is the shoulder pieces, the V-fin, the vent, everything like that, the chest. Pretty straightforward. Now, the white, I don't know if you can really tell or if it's translating. The white is this weird off-white, it kind of looks like it has a minty tone to it, like it could glow in the dark, but it doesn't. It's the weirdest thing. It is not one of the more durable plastics, it's uh, quite flimsy. You could almost, if you really wanted to and you were super delicate, you could probably break these pizzas off like by hand almost nearly flawlessly. Like I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Last but not least are our booster runners here, which is going to be the main part of this kit. Holy crap, that's it. <laughs> and last but not least, dry rub decals. Pretty cool. And then our S Gundam booster unit, like cool sticker, and that's it. What do you guys think? Like, what do you think? It looks like most HG kits. It looks a lot more simple, um, which it shows how much further Bandai has gotten in their development of making kits and everything like that. But I don't know, I'm super excited. I think it's gonna be, I think it's cute. I think it's gonna be so freaking cute um, sitting on my desk here. But I mean, like, I can't wait to paint it and do it some justice. It's, she's fragile. She's fragile. I can tell she's gonna be fragile. So do you guys have any kind of experience with older kits? Have you built this kit before? Do you know anything about this kit? Do you have any questions about this kit? Whatever it is, I am here to listen. My name is Skylar, this is Hobby Bolt. Have an amazing weekend, guys. It is a holiday weekend. Stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to check out my YouTube channel too. I appreciate it so much, all the support. You guys are awesome. Have a good weekend, bye. Also, you guys are making me so happy with the fact that you have all been buying the mega size model kits and sending me DMs of it. Never stop doing that. I want to see all of the mega sizes that you guys have because they are near and dear to my heart and I love them. So, <laughs> okay guys, bye.